The Indiana Supreme Court has spent the day hearing and deliberating on several cases, including two that have ties to the Fort Wayne area. We have live team, team coverage tonight, and Alex Knoll was there to hear arguments in the Richard Allen case and his desire to retain his original attorneys. We begin with reporter Taylor Williams, who brings us the latest on Cohen Hans Barron, who is appealing his four consecutive life sentences without the possibility of parole. Taylor. Hans Barron's attorneys told the justices that his sentences were, quote, inappropriate. The family members of victim Sarah Zent say the ruling should be upheld. There will not be a day that we don't fight for them. The fight for justice for Sarah Zent and her three kids is now in the hands of the Indiana Supreme Court as they decide whether to change the sentence of Cohen Hans Barron. Cohen Hans Barron took four lives. Whether he has one life to live is irrelevant. He needs to pay for all four lives that he took. Justices heard from Hans Barron's attorney, Gregory Fumrolo, who argued that the consecutive life sentences were, quote, vindictive justice. My point is there's very little, if any, direct evidence that he committed this offense other than the fact that he survived an attack and uh, leaves the scene. And that the court should rule that Hans Barron should only serve one life sentence, something Zen's loved ones disagreed with. All of their lives mattered, each one of them. Which one are we going to pick? The state's attorney agreed, saying the mounds of DNA evidence and Hans Barron's own guilt were overwhelming. The incredibly brutal and callous nature of the offenses in this case call out for nothing less than a sentence of life imprisonment without parole. Um, but Hans Barron's character also supports his sentence. For Zinn's family, reliving the details of the murders was difficult. And they hope that the Supreme Court will keep Hans Barron behind bars to serve all four life sentences. I want them to make the right decision, so I feel that they need to take all the time that they need. With that being said, there is no timeline on when the Supreme Court will have their ruling. Hans Barron was not in the courtroom today. He's currently being held in the Pendleton Correctional Facility. In studio, Taylor Williams, 21 Alive News.